Yes, sir. She's ready. Fuel the jet. You are going to get better. All better. Whether she can help us or not. I just wish I knew where... The day we've been waiting for. It's come. Am I not being clear? I said it started. Find him and keep him there. Yes, sir. How's the weather up ahead? Uh, looks like smooth going, sir. We should be arriving in Port Charles as scheduled. She's certainly taking a good long rest, isn't she? I think you should get a good long rest. Oh, well, I'll sleep later when they turn the lights down. I don't know how else you know day from night in this place. I certainly don't. Sure. Well, her temperature's dropped to 99. You think the septicemia is over? Well, a few more days on the antibiotics. We'll be safest. I'm going to be in my office for a little while yet. Okay. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. It's only when something goes wrong that we realize just how unique we are. Even her smallest cells are specifically hers and nobody else's. It's a humbling situation. And I'm sorry. I'm not helping very much. No, that's all right. I've been thinking about the very same thing. She's mine. I gave birth to her. She grew inside me and now... I can't do anything to help her, you know? My body's just like any other stranger's now. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You look at the way she stares at you. You know, I've been missing my mother so much lately. I just... I think that people that we love are with us at times like this. Leslie knows. She can't hold you. But she knows. Thank you. Be strong. I will. Thank you. Forgive me, Mother. Yes. She's alone. All right. You feel better now, don't you, sweetie? Until next time. Mrs. Spencer? Yeah. I'll call for you. Where? I didn't hear anything. You can take it in here. What did you say? Is it you, Lasha? No. You're dead, no. Am I? Who is this? What do you know? What, what, what do you know? I know you want your child to live. All right. Where can I meet you? Tonight. As soon as it's dark, we'll take a boat to Spoon Island. I'll meet you on the pier below Windermere Manor. How will 
will I know you? You'll know me. And Lasha. Come alone. You understand? Yes, I'll be there. I'll do whatever you want, okay? Anything, I just... Bobby's daughter, the couple in Florida who adopted her. Oh, right, right. Does Bobby know? Yes. If I can make the next plane, I can be there by tonight, and maybe... What did Simone say? Uh, that, that this crisis was over, or, or that it was almost over. I don't know, maybe that's just what I wanted to hear. Yeah, but that doesn't mean there won't be another crisis. That's why I have to go. You know, I have to leave you here, but only for a day or so. Because if 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 Bobby's daughter is the match and we don't get of a course, hold of course, I know. You have to go. Look, the time has come for both of us to stop hoping and praying and do what we have to do. Waiting patiently with our names on a list is just not working. Maybe I should be ashamed to say this, but I will do anything. I will hurt anyone. I will sell my soul to the devil before I will stand here and watch my daughter die. No, please. I'm going to be all right. You go ahead, okay? Call Lucky at Ruby's from the airport and tell him that everything's going to be okay. Right, give him some hope. Yes, give him some hope. He'll only believe it from you. call you as soon as I can. If I'm not here, I'll just be gone for a little while. No problem. No problem, baby. <sighs> yes, I need a nurse, please. It's, it's okay. She's all right. I need to go out for a little while, and I wondered if you would stay with her. I'd be happy to. Thank you. You're welcome. Where is that other nurse? You know, the one with the uh, short brown hair, light blue eyes? She's not an ICU nurse. You call me by your husband's name, I'll call you by his name for you. I should have known. Because you think of me so often and so fondly? Or do you mean you should have known? It wasn't stop no summoning you from the grave. For a moment in the dark, I... But you're nothing like him. He loved you. I take it you know what my daughter needs. Do you miss him so much, Lasha? Are there other days and nights you see him standing before you? Stefan, please don't do this. 
you wish he were now? No. Your brother can't help me now. Whatever you thought of me then, whatever it is that you think of me now, I... I'm very grateful that you're here. I've been trying to reach Elena. Yes. Another woman. Another mother. Please, I, I need her to know that I would never, ever have broken my promise to her. But now... Does she know that my baby is sick? Your family, Lasha. We care for you. Did she send you here? Send me? Send me? Uh, I mean... I mean, did she ask you to come here? My mother helped you once, and what did it cost her? You think she'd be inclined to help you again? No. Hardly. But you have the power now, don't you? And you came to me. I'm very grateful to you. You haven't changed. You still think of me as the gullible one. No, that's not true. No, I think of you as someone else who knows what it feels like to serve at their whim. These aren't the old days. How is he? Who? Is he with you? Can I see him, please? The test for donor compatibility is a very simple one. But it must be done right now. Will you bring him to me? Bring him to you? Eric can be done anywhere else, anywhere you like. I'll arrange for it. I'm sure you can. Stefan, please. Do you understand that you hold my daughter's life in your hands? As you had my brother's in yours? I think so. No, I... You're better than this. You're... Yes. Tell me, Lasha. How much worthier I am than Stavros and the rest? Used to work on occasion. Well, then why did you make me come here? What do you want? What do you want from me? Do you want to make me beg? Fine! I will beg! You want me to kneel? Do you want to see me cry? <laughs> what makes you think I would give a damn for your tears? You destroyed my people. You killed my brother. The Cassidines owe you nothing. I did not kill Stavros. You know Helena would have said anything. Anything. Then what did? His own obsession. You know how he was about anything that he laid claim to. Why wouldn't he think he had a right to claim his own wife? I was never his wife. Except in his own mind, in his own sick make-believe world, I was married to someone else. More than in his mind, I think, or else you wouldn't be here, would you? He kidnapped me. He made me believe that my husband was dead. And that I had nothing to come back to. You know this. Why are you doing this to me? You're acting as if he was my victim. Remember me. The power does not die with me. Power does not die with me. It will go on. You will just look. You will feel my rage long after. How can you know that? Nobody else was there. Do you begin to feel it now, Lasha? Luke and I were the only ones in that hospital room when Stavros died. There was another witness. You? How? In 
the words he left you with became my inheritance too. I guarded them like you. I heard them in my sleep like you. And I watched. Every step you took, I took with you. Your travels, your separation from Luke. I was very close to you then, but I waited. Lucky's gambling, your daughter's close call in the ward house fire. I prayed alongside your family that you'd be found innocent of your latest murder. You have prior crimes to answer for. All right. You hate me now. I guess the chance to see me suffer is the only reason you have for living. Your greatest pleasure from your new imperial seat is having me watched! And this is how you'll take revenge. On a child. If you like, I can leave. If my company is so distasteful. And you'll never see me again. No, no, please. These aren't the old days when you were standing in your brother's shadow. You make the decisions now. And you can do what's right. I am making the decisions now. And I'll do what I think is right. Thank you. To avenge my brother's death. So you've slipped into your brother's shoes. But they don't quite fit, do they? Cruelty doesn't come naturally to you. I've changed. You want to avenge Stavros's death. Stavros would never have done this to me. Well, he may have been dazzled by you, but I never was. Think back. To what? You know what. You couldn't have changed that much. Why not? You have. Please. My daughter will die without your help, please. Did I say I wouldn't grant your request? Then you let me see him? Where is he? Did I say I would? Please. Please, don't do this to me. Please. Please. How can I find you? Hi. Hi. I'm sorry that it took so long. How's my little girl? She woke up once, but her temperature's steady. Did you get some rest? Mrs. Spencer, you have a phone call. Excuse me. Hello? Hello, Angel. How's Lulu? She's sleeping. Is Bobby close by? Yes. Did you find out anything? Is that Luke? I don't want to talk to Bobby about this until I get back, so just tell her I'm in a hurry. Okay. Did he find her? I got some leads on her daughter. Just tell her Mrs. Benson was real nice. All right, I will. Baby, it's gonna be complicated to find this girl. Very complicated. How's my baby? How are all my babies? Missing you, but we're fine. Well, that's just how I like it. I gotta go. Um, I'll be back soon. I'm real hopeful. This trip was real hopeful. I, I think something's gonna break real soon. Yeah, something is. Luke, I love you with all my heart.
I wish I had good news. But I... It's okay. I do. They found a match for Lulu on the worldwide donor network. Our baby's got a donor? Yes. Our daughter is going to get the bone marrow transplant. says the only thing you know is that the bone marrow is coming from Switzerland. Yeah, that's all they can seem to tell us. Laura, that's a 1 in 20,000 chance coming through. That's incredible. Wow. I'm so happy for all of you. Bobby? I'm sorry that you got disappointed again about not finding your daughter. I know you got your hopes up. Yeah. Well, you know, what's meant to be will be. Although sometimes, you know, I guess you gotta give it a little push, but, uh... Hey, I know a tiny little bit more about her. Oh. I know that her name is, um... Caroline Benson. Uh-huh. He gave me this. Oh, wow. I think she has your mouth. <laughs> oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> Anyway, we've said that any child of mine has to be a survivor. And, uh, that helps somehow. And I'm sure that it's true. Well, it's certainly true of your children. <laughs> Gosh, I mean, look at what Lucky's been through, and, and now Lulu. Mm -hmm. Your kids have survivor genes on both sides. I don't know why it's so different now, all of a sudden. It's like all these years I knew she was out there. But I guess I was just too afraid to look into my heart and see what was there about her. And now it's like all of a sudden the door has opened up and there's more and more and I just, I can't slam it closed again. Can you imagine what it's like knowing there is a child out there of your own body? And you just can't make contact. Yes, I can imagine. Well, I have to get back to work. If I could just cradle her in my arms while this was happening to her. around her right now hey what up doc the infusion seems to be going smoothly side effects seem to be minimal okay okay so when do you start pumping her full of the good stuff not until tomorrow afternoon there has to be a period of rest and evaluation you know, I can't get over this. <laughs> it's so... It's so cool, you know? I mean, everybody we know was lining up to share their immune system with her, and they couldn't. And, and then out of nowhere, thousands of miles away, somebody... Somebody's a match. I really, you know, I'm a big fan of this computerized global community thing. <laughs> well, that's why we have donor registries. Yeah, I'm happy about it. <laughs> Only a few moments, monsieur. The patient needs to rest.
Betty and she'll try. 